It's stealing. It's criminal. Governor Cuomo says the MTA has itself to blame for making it possible for Long Island Railroad employees to allegedly inflate the hours on their timesheets and take home bigger paychecks. This is not a new issue for the MTA. They have been criticized for years on lack of an effective time and attendance system. Why didn't they change it? Why didn't they fix it? Uh, there's no excuse. TWU Local 100, the union representing LIRR workers, says MTA management approved their overtime and signed their paychecks. The union president expressed resentment that the MTA sent its police out last week to check workers' attendance and timesheets, saying, quote, they should use their police to protect their workers, not for publicity stunts in reaction to bad press about overtime that MTA managers themselves approved. It's not about overtime. Everybody knew we were authorizing overtime. This is about stealing. This is about fraud. This is about people saying they worked and charging the taxpayers when they didn't work. The governor's appointed MTA chair Pat Foy called for an investigation into the alleged overtime abuse to find out if there is fraud, how long it's been going on, and how it's been overlooked. According to the MTA, overtime costs were up $122 million last year. An MTA spokesperson releasing a statement tonight saying, Chairman Foy has been crystal clear that while overtime is necessary for emergencies and urgent projects, overtime abuse is unacceptable and should be rooted out. Governor Cuomo says an independent investigation is imperative. There was concern that MTA workers would walk off the job in protest, but so far no known action has been taken. At Penn Station, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.